guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some of my favorite products for the winter time or for the cold months getting into winter. So I went through my collection the other day and was starting to pull out things because it's starting to get a little colder and my skin is starting to change. So I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite makeup, skincare, and body care items for the winter time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with lips because you guys know I'm like a lip fanatic. So I'm gonna share with you what I would use in the winter. So the first thing that I absolutely have have to have I actually have to have this all year round but especially in the winter time this is the Smith's minted rose lip balm I've talked about this before on my channel but this is like an amazing lip balm it's the best that I've ever found and trust me I have tried a lot of them it's so moisturizing it doesn't feel heavy on the lips it's not like like sticky when you have it on at all. It's just very comfortable. It makes my lips look very luscious and hydrated. So I love this, it's definitely a must. Um, and the one that I like the most is the Minted Rose Lip Balm. They do have a couple other ones, but this one's my favorite. It gives my lips just like this perfect, beautiful, hydrated, like plump look. And I wear this without makeup too. So I apply this at nighttime especially. After I put my skincare on, I'll apply this and I just wear it for the rest of the night and go to bed with it on. And I wake up with my lips looking just very hydrated and moisturized. So I love this. I'm like almost completely out of it, but I just did pick up a new one. So I will be busting that out soon. But I love this. Definitely a must have, especially for the winter time. I wear this all the time. And then as far as wearing a lipstick or a lip gloss in the winter, I love matte lipstick. Sticks. I love the way they look. I love the way that they can make your lips look a little bit more fuller because you can kind of overline with them. But reality is I'm just not someone that can wear a matte lipstick in the winter time. My lips get so dry. Even if I drink like five gallons of water a day, my lips are still really dry in the winter and they crack and it's just not a good look to be wearing a matte lipstick. So I'm definitely a gloss girl in the winter time. And again, I love gloss anytime. I think it makes my lips look a little bit more full and a little bit more youthful, but glosses in the winter are a must for me. So a couple of my favorites are right here. Of course, they're all nude because I just love nude lips. Um, so the first one that I love is by Hourglass. This is in the shade Child. It's just a beautiful, kind of like a beigey pink nude, and I absolutely love it. All of these have amazing formulations, and I will link them all down below in case you guys do want to check them out. And then the other one right here, this is more like of a peachy brown nude, and this one is Undressed by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then the next one is by Bite Beauty. This is in a Rambutan, and this one not only like is an amazing formulation and really pretty, but it smells really, really good too. And this is more of like a pinky-ish nude, a little bit lighter than the Hourglass one, um, but I really like it, it's beautiful. And then the last one is kind of new to my collection, um, and you'll see it in my favorites video for this month. This is Sugar Sugar by Marc Jacobs. I actually just got it last month, maybe a month and a half ago, and I absolutely love it. It's quickly became one of my favorites. It's kind of like a beigey nude with some shimmer reflex in it, but you don't really see the shimmer on your lips. It just makes them look really full and beautiful. Those are my four favorite glosses to wear in the winter as far as like nude glosses go, but I pretty much only wear nude glosses because I always wear nude lips, but those are definitely my favorites and gloss is 100% a must in the winter for me. So now let's move on to foundation. So in the winter time, I like a more of full coverage foundation personally. I have a lot of dark spots around this area, and when I'm wearing a sweater and stuff, I don't know, I just feel like a full coverage foundation looks really good. Does that even make sense? So I hope that that makes sense. I just gravitate more towards a full coverage foundation in the winter for some reason. I just think a just nice flawless canvas looks great with like sweaters and I don't know, the winter time. I, I have no idea why I think that. That's weird. I'm just realizing that. But I do end up gravitating towards a full coverage foundation in the winter. And I have two of my favorites to share with you today. So the first one is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I wear the shade 4.0 in this. I did a, I don't know if it was a first impressions, I think it was a first impression slash review on this, and I was kind of 50-50 back in the summer, but now I love it, which is weird because I have dry skin. So you would think I would like it more in the summertime when I have just a little bit of oil in my skin, but I've been loving it. My skin has been changing a little bit recently, like hormonally, but I have just been gravitating towards this foundation every day. Less is definitely more with this. So it is a little bit more pricey, but you definitely get your money's worth because you don't have to use as much foundation. So a little goes a long way. And I do prefer to use a brush with this foundation over a beauty blender I just feel like I get a little bit more coverage with it so I've been loving this foundation it's great it's a beautiful olivey yellow undertone 
The shade is 4.0. I don't remember if I just told you guys that. So it matches me perfectly. It's what I have on today, and I just think my skin looks just very flawless and even, and I only use about a half a pump of this, and it covers my entire face. So I've been loving this. Great foundation for the winter time. And that is more of a natural finish foundation, so if I do want a, a little bit of a dewier finish, I will go for the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. I love this foundation. I do have a full review on it, so I'll link it down below in case you guys want to check it out. But I love this foundation, especially if I'm going to be taking pictures or something. It just gives my skin like the most flawless look. It's not heavy on the skin. It's very lightweight. It gives a beautiful, natural, satin finish to my skin. It's nothing like super dewy, like luminous. I would never say it's luminous. It's just a little bit more hydrating. Right off the bat, it gives me a solid and medium color. Coverage, and then it can be built up to a full coverage really easily. So I love this foundation as well, especially if my skin's like super dry, I will wear this because it just doesn't accentuate any of my dry patches or anything like that. So love this foundation, definitely a good one. And also in the winter time, I usually wear a lot of chunky sweaters and things around my neck. Like I love to bundle up in scarves and just keep really warm. I live in the Midwest, so it gets pretty cold here. That also means that my makeup transfers like crazy all over my sweaters, which is something that I really don't like because I do like to wear like white sweaters or cream sweaters and I hate having makeup all around them. I even had a black coat that was just like covered in foundation one time and it just like broke my heart because it wasn't a cheap coat and it's kind of ruined now. I could not get the foundation out. So I realized why my makeup was transferring so much. It's because I never set my foundation because I had dry skin. But this year I did start using a powder just to set this area right here so that my makeup didn't transfer. And the one I've been using is the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. This is a beautiful powder. It doesn't make you look chalky or cakey. It just really sets the makeup nicely and photographs beautifully. So this is what it looks like right here. Just your standard powder. The shade that I have is number 117 and it matches me perfectly just to set this area right here. Sometimes I'll set my nose and just like right there too, but mostly just right here so that my makeup doesn't transfer onto the clothes that I'm wearing. And again, just a beautiful powder, something that probably most people don't think about. I just thought I would let you guys know what I do for the winter. It just really helps prevent my makeup from transferring on to my sweaters and you know, all of my winter accessories. So I thought I would let you guys know that. This is a great powder though. If you are looking for one, I really like it. So now moving on to some blush, bronzer, and highlight. In the winter time, I like to use a liquid highlight, something that's very light, but still gives like a dewier finish on my skin because I do have dry skin and in the winter it gets even drier. So the one that I really like in the winter is the Paracone MD No Highlighter Highlighter. And the name of this is so perfect for this liquid highlighter because it honestly is like a no highlighter highlighter. Later. It just adds this beautiful radiance to the skin. You can apply this when you don't have any makeup at all and just wear it to, you know, give a little something to your skin. Or you can wear it under your foundation or over it. And it just makes you look like you have really healthy skin. So that's why I love this product for the winter time. And this is what it looks like right here. It has like a little doe foot applicator on it. And you can just do a couple dots wherever you want it and then blend it out. And I just love <laughs> And I just love this product so much because it's just so natural. So if you're someone that maybe isn't into the whole like full on highlight trend that's going on right now, um, you would probably like this product because it just makes you look like, you know, you have a natural like lip from within kind of glow. So I will definitely be using this a lot this winter. And then as far as blush and bronzer go, so in the winter time, I obviously get a lot more pale than I am now. I do like to continue to use a self tanner just to give me a little color. I just feel better when I have just a little bit of a tan on my skin. Um, I don't know why, I just feel like I look healthier. But as far as bronzer goes, I like to use a little bit of a lighter bronzer in the winter because I'm obviously not as dark as you know, using like a heavier, like darker bronzer. So the one that I always opt for is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. Now I will warn you, if you are someone that is a lot more fair than I am, I'm definitely a light to medium skin tone. So if you are like a light to fair skin tone, I probably wouldn't recommend this bronzer to you because I do have a lot of fair skin friends that don't really like this bronzer. They say it comes off a little bit orange on their skin tone. And I think it has a lot to do with, you know, your undertones in your skin too. But if you are someone around my skin tone, and as you can see, I'm not the darkest right now, especially, but if you are someone like, you know, a medium to light skin tone, I would definitely recommend this bronzer. It is so beautiful. 
it honestly just looks like your skin when you apply it it just meshes into like your natural oils and just creates this beautiful bronze and the really cool thing about this bronzer is that it's not like a solid bronzer it's infused with some highlight so that's what makes it look like really natural and just flawless so I love this bronzer especially for the winter time because it gives me that added radiance but also bronzes my skin so I will be using this. I use this all the time, but I will definitely be using this as like my main bronzer in the winter. And then for blush, the blush that I always pull out for the winter time is Becca Wild Honey. And I know that this looks a little dark just looking at it in the pan here, but when you apply it to your skin and you only need like the tiniest little like dab of it because it's super pigmented, like you know when you're out in the cold and your skin just gets really cold and chilly and it gives that like redness to your skin, not redness, but like, like a rosy color, that's what this blush does for me and it just looks so beautiful and youthful and just I don't know alive looking so I love this for the winter time I choose this over a more pink blush because I do have a bigger cheek area so when I do go in and apply a more pink blush it kind of looks like overkill in the winter to me like I have just like these big rosy cheeks so this is what I prefer to use on my skin so those were all of my like makeup must-haves. Now I'm gonna move into some skincare, hair care, and just a couple of like random products that I wanna share with you too. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this mask by Origins. This is the Drink Up Intensive Mask. So in the winter when my skin is feeling like super dry, I'll apply this at night as my moisturizer. So after I apply all my other skincare, I'll put this on and then I'll just go to sleep with it and I wake up the next morning and my skin is just so hydrated, like really deeply moisturized where it's not like just sitting on the top of my skin. I I actually feel like this product like penetrates into my skin and when I wake up my skin is just very plump and just moisturized so I love this for the colder months and I literally cannot be without this in the winter this is like a lifesaver for my skin sometimes so I love this again this is the origins drink up intensive overnight mask and in the winter my skin tends to change more like over the last month or so my skin has been changing so much it's just been very dry it's just been oily in some parts. I don't know. It's just been like this weird like purging too. Like I've been breaking out a little bit more. My skin, I've been exfoliating, but my skin still feels like eh. So I decided to pick up this product about two months ago. This is the Collagen Replenish Powder. It has hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. I'll link it down below in case you guys want to check it out. They do have it on vitacost.com and you can just order on there and get it shipped to your house. So basically what this is, is a flavorless drink mix and it does not taste like anything. Like if you mix it in with your water, it has no flavor at all. And I just do one little scoop and I'll show you what the scoop looks like. It's actually not even very big. So this is what the little scoop looks like. You just do one scoop a day, you put it in some water, you mix it up and you drink it. It really has made a difference in my skin over the last couple of weeks. So I'm gonna continue doing it because my skin has been looking really good lately. So I'm excited to see what this does the longer that I use it. And of course in the winter, my skin is like extra, extra dry and parched. And I like to take warmer showers, which I try not to because it really dries out my skin. But sometimes just a really warm shower feels really good. But it also means that I'm gonna be drying out my skin more. So this body butter by Tree Hut is like an essential for me. I recently discovered this like body butter this year and I have been obsessed with it. I love this all over my body when I get out of the shower it feels so luxurious rich and moisturizing it's really thick and creamy like you would want in a body butter but it doesn't feel like you just applied Crisco to your body so it's not like oily or greasy or slippery it just makes your skin look really good too and I think it's because of the glycerin in it but it just makes my skin look like very radiant and very glowy but it doesn't feel that way which is great so I am just like obsessed with this and I'm also obsessed with this scent this is the Moroccan rose a modern rose scent and it has organic shea butter in it as well as Moroccan argan oil so that's what makes it very like luxurious and moisturizing on your skin and I love it so if you're in the market for a good body butter you can pick this up at Walmart the brand is tree hut and it's the shea body butter they have tons of scents to choose from but I am like a huge fan of this one and I have one hair care product to share with you guys today that is an absolute must for me in the winter time if you follow me for a while now you know that my hair is under control construction. I have been in the process of going blonde for a year and a half now and I used to be jet black like super super black and before that I was red so I have been undergoing a transformation. My poor hair has undergone so much in the last two years but I noticed that this product helps so much especially when I've been bleaching it like 
every month for the last couple months to try to get to the blonde that I want. This product has pretty much been a lifesaver for my hair. It's the It's a Tin Miracle Hair Mask. It is a little pricey. I think that this is close to $40, but you need the littlest amount. It'll last you for a very long time. And my hair feels so silky smooth when I apply this, but it doesn't weigh my hair down, which is a huge plus for me because I already have really fine hair. So any like heavy masks and stuff that I've used, like oil mask and things like that they've always just weighed my hair down and then my hair breaks and it's just it's a mess but this product has been awesome it's a good one to have but the last essential for me in the winter is an essential oil and this is by the brand doTERRA i've been using doTERRA essential oils for i think like five five, six years now for some health things that I've been going through. But this peppermint one is perfect for the holiday season because not only does it smell really festive because it's peppermint, but it's also really good as like an energy booster in the winter time. So I diffuse this in my car, I diffuse this in my house, and it just smells really, really good. And it also helps to just kind of wake me up a little bit too. And I also apply it to my chest in the winter. It helps to just kind of keep everything, you know, open and just gives me energy too. So I love love this essential oil. I use it tons all year round, but especially in the winter time, I think it is a great one for the holiday season. I'm going to be getting so much use out of all of these products this winter. So I definitely wanted to share them with you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any winter must haves, please leave them in the comments below so that I can go check them out as well. And since we are officially in the holiday season, I do have some holiday videos coming out very shortly. I have a stocking stuffer video that is all affordable items and I think you're really, really gonna like that video, so be on the lookout for that. And I also have my holiday home tour coming up very shortly as well. So I'm really excited about the videos coming up for you guys, so be on the lookout for those. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night or whenever you're watching this, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.